There is a series that brings the Bible characters to the screen and chronicles the life of Jesus. It's also the largest crowdfunded media project ever to be produced in history. Here's a closer look at The Chosen. How would you trust me? With my life. Let me talk to the tax man. Matthew? I don't trust you that much. Bible characters and stories are alive again in The Chosen, the streaming series about the life of Christ. And Dallas Jenkins is in the writer and director's chair. Fishing didn't exactly go like I planned the other night. What's that got to do? I caught nothing. Net after net after net empty. What's it like to take the pages of scripture and bring them to life? I can't imagine the feeling of reading the pages and then seeing yeah, that we get to see. Yeah, that's really cool how you just uh, phrased it, bringing them to life and then seeing them. Uh, that's how I feel, even though I'm the one who's doing it. I'm the director, and I'm the one who's literally writing the words and seeing them come to life, and I'm even dictating how they come to life. And yet I still feel like I'm following along and I'm just listening. On the day of our visit to the set of The Chosen, preparation is being made to shoot a pivotal scene just beyond that wall, the wedding at Cana, where Jesus performed his very first miracle. That's good, Russ. Take that off. Telling Bible stories is very familiar for this director. His dad is Jerry B. Jenkins, co-author of the popular Left Behind series. How do we get here for you to be doing a series on The Chosen, familiar with your film? Uh, how do we get here? What happened in Dallas's life that this is now what you're doing? Failure, <laughs> um, ironically enough. So I think my whole life has been building towards this moment because uh, you know, I'm a Bible believer. I have been since I was a child. My father is a storyteller. My father wrote books about the Bible, wrote books about the Christian life. So I've been immersed in that. And so I feel like I'm ready to tell these stories, but I wasn't planning on it as of two years ago. A little over two years ago, I was planning on making multiple movies with some of the biggest producers in Hollywood, which I had the opportunity to do with a movie called The Resurrection of Gavin Stone. When that movie failed at the box office, and suddenly I went from being, in, a, in about an hour, I went from being a director with a bright future, multiple movies ahead of me with big time producers, to a director with no future and no idea what was gonna come next. I poured myself into a short film for my church's Christmas Eve service. And it was about the birth of Christ and the perspective of the shepherds. And it was intended to just be a Christmas Eve experience for our church. And shall call his name Emmanuel. And while I was doing it, I had the idea for this show, but I didn't know where it was gonna go. Long story, very, very short. Next thing I know, the short film is on Facebook. It becomes a crowdfunded opportunity, which I thought was ridiculous. I thought it was <laughs> never gonna work. Crowdfunding never works, and it's usually for small projects. And uh, it ended up taking on a life of its own, and uh, here I sit with you in Texas on the set of the, of the project, and uh, we're already in episodes five through eight. Crowdfunding did more than just work. When these long credits roll here, it shows the number one crowdfunded media project in history. How God is that? I mean, for this to not happen the way anyone Not one should. bit of this project has happened <laughs> the way that uh, anyone expected, certainly me. And that's what's so cool about the story of The Chosen. So the characters that we're showing you and the episodes that we're showing you are all about people whose lives had their, you know, apple carts turned upside down. Yeah and they had no idea what was coming. They had no idea what their lives were going to be like after they encountered the creator of the universe in human form. And so telling these stories has actually become way more natural mm. today than it would have been a couple of years ago because I'm in a similar position that they are. Leave me alone. Mary. Mary of Magdala. Who are you? How do you know my name? Thus says the Lord who created you. 